Hello and welcome again. In this video, we will be discussing how to draw different types of angles. So how to draw an acute angle? Let's take an example to draw a 45 degree angle. Step one is to draw an horizontal line. Step two is to put the center of the protractor on one of the points. So we are adding this protractor, the upside down T over this point. Now let's start measuring the angle. So this is 10, 20, so this is 20, 20, 30, and 40, and this is the 45 degree. The next step is to join the both the lines from the center to this. So this angle is our 45 degree angle. The last but the important step is to label this. So this is angle A, B, C, and angle A, B, C is a 45 degree angle. So how to draw an obtuse angle? Let's take an example to draw a 120 degree angle. The first step is similar. We need to draw one straight line, one horizontal straight line, and then on one of the points, uh, starting point or the ending point, we need to put the center of the protractor, overlap the center. This is the center of the protractor, the upside down T. And again, the same thing. We start measuring from the zero, zero. So the baseline of the protractor is overlapping one of the arms, that is this horizontal line. And now we start counting. So it's zero, 10, 30, and we have a 90 over here. 100, 110, 120. So this 120 is our destination point or the destination starting point and the ending point. And now the last thing is to draw a line between the two. So this angle is 120 degree and let's label it. So let's label it as angle PQR. So we can say that angle PQR is a 120 degree angle. So the next one is how to draw a reflex angle. We'll take an example by drawing a 330 degree reflex angle. Now to draw a reflex angle, we are already aware of that. We can draw it by drawing an internal angle. So we subtract that and found an internal angle that is of a 30 degree. Angle around a point is 360 degree. We subtract 330 from it and we draw an angle of 30 degree. So the outer angle will be our reflex angle. So let's start by drawing a straight line. Again, a horizontal straight line. Let's put the protractor or the center of the protractor on one of the end points. And now we'll draw 0, 10, 20, 30. At this point, we'll draw a 30 degree internal angle. Now this is 30 degree internal angle that means this one will become our 330 degree reflex angle all right so whenever you are asked to draw a reflex angle make sure you found the internal angle first by subtracting it from the whole 360 degree is one complete turn you subtract the angle with reflex angle which you want to draw and get the internal angle draw the internal angle and then mark the outer angle as your reflex angle. Why do we need to do that? Because the scale here shows only till 180 degree, 0 to 180 degree. And if we want to draw a 330 degree, that is 180 degree greater than 180 degree angle, we need to follow 360 degree minus the reflex angle. We get an internal angle, we draw for the internal angle and the outer angle will be our reflex angle. 